Is there anyone down here that wants to talk to us? That was Dave talking. He's coming in the house. It's very tight quarters over here. Okay, I'm getting a baseline of 0, 0. 0.0. When I walked in here, I got like a what was it? 0 0.8? Yes. 69 degrees down here. me is there anyone in here that wants to talk to us is this your workstation Cynthia's father down here. Sammy's grandpa. Are you down here? I tell you, you are very talented. These, these photos, these paintings are, are very good. Is there any other old items from people that maybe passed or any type of antiques you guys collect or anything? Or? Um, I do have tons of my dad's stuff, like tons, because he died five years ago, and so we store most of it down here. That room over there has, that room I hate, has a lot of the previous homeowner's items in there. But who, which ones, I don't know. Yeah, my, my dad was very much into music and art, and I have a lot of... Oh, I love his music and art over there. My dad's books, my dad's records. So my dad's weird art. He was an artist. Oh, okay. He worked for Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> he was the graphic designer for Playboy. Wow. And uh, Look Magazine, and he worked for Amico doing art. Some of these older items that are maybe your dad's mm -hmm. or other people's, you know, that lived here. We could try to put the meters to him to see if we could get any type of readings, any type of energy. Oh man, it was a million Lager centipede that just went by. Could you tell me, are you attached to any of these items? Cynthia was saying you're a great father, that you would do anything for anybody, that you were really, really nice. Is there a message you want us to, to give her? We have devices down here that we can uh, record your voice. All you have to do is speak loudly into the lights. Is this family in danger living here? Can you tell me, is there something bad, an evil, or a negative presence in this house? I would like
like to know, you know, why you're here. Are you here because your belongings are here? Are you here to protect your daughter and grandson? Or are you just here to check up on them to see how things are going? When I was here before, I caught a male's voice a few times. I want to know whose voice that was. Was that you? Did you hear anything that could have sounded like three or four words, like whispering? No. no. You didn't say... No. I don't know if it, came, it was this way. I don't know if it came from behind you or in here. Was that you? If so, I think I might have heard you. Could you do it again? Could you speak louder? What's that? What was that? Oh, wait. Uh, eight, zero point eight, and then it left. I'm starting to feel a little charge. Right here, I heard a female voice last time I was here, and you said to get out. Who was that? Now you know I heard you, so you could speak. You could speak to us. you were telling us to get out. This, man, uh, I thought I, I thought I saw a shadow in this room. That room? In this room. Man, I wish I got more of a glimpse of it, but it looked something like big and black that blocked out a lot of the lighting. If it wasn't Lillian saying get out and move or whatever you were saying, who was it then? This whole night is for you guys to communicate with you. To tell us if you want these owners to leave, to give them a message, whatever it is. This is your time to communicate with us. I'm getting uh, the hair rising on my arms and everything again. Whatever spirits are here, I want to know why you're still here. How many are here and why? You walk in. I want to know why, if you're here because you choose to be, Want to know if you're stuck here? Is that you? I don't know. It was breathing or... It almost sounded like a, a whispering voice of two no. words, but... Wasn't me. Right after I said, I want to know if you were stuck here. If that was you, could you repeat that again? I was saying I want to know why you're here. If you choose to be here, if you're stuck here, or if you're, you don't know how to move on, you know. Now, if we're able to communicate, maybe we could help you move on if that's what you want. Who whispered in Cynthia's ear by the washing machine? Who was that? Well, I was here in the laundry area doing laundry here, and someone came up behind me in this ear and said something, and I whipped around this way, and no one was here. 
don't know if you realize, but Sammy, the little boy, he can, it seems like he can see you and he knows when you're around. Who or what's causing all these negative feelings in this house? Where people come uh, rent and they get in fights, get divorced or they leave. And it seems like you're doing it to this family also. I, I want to know why. Two owners, 1924 to 1935, then from 1935 to 1998 was the same owners, and then it's changed hands like every two years, ever since. Makes you wonder. I know. And everyone, according to the neighbor, gets in fights and... It gets what, I'm sorry? In fights. Okay. And leaves. And us included, but I'm fighting it because I don't want this thing to break up. This thing. Is it you, Lillian? I know you, it sounds like you had a, a, a rough life towards the end. Maybe a, a bad death with some pain. It's horrible. No one should have to go through cancer and suffer like that. So are you mad at everyone else that's not going through that? Are you jealous of that? Do you feel like your life was taken too early? You have no right to scare Sammy, though. No right to pick on little kids. That's where I get upset. So whoever's bothering Sammy, male or female, you got to stop it. You got to cut it out. Especially the man who's poking him, scratching him. Who's the man in the boots? That's who I want to talk with right now. Who's Who, him? Who's him? Man, I got to charge. <laughs> My hair is up. I got it on my legs too. It's him. Are you here now since I brought brought you up? What are your intentions? Why are you bothering Cynthia and Sammy the boy? Who made the three scratches on his face? The point in when I decided I needed to get help was when we were in the bedroom upstairs and my son got scratched. And he had three scratches down his face that I could not explain. And I said, you know what, that's it. It stops here. If it's affecting my son in a physical way, then action needs to be taken place. Does him touch you? Yes. Where does he touch you? Oh. Where does he usually touch you? Oh, just. Right here? Yeah. Is he is he a man? Yes. Okay. And he's scary? Yes. Yes. Do you want him to go away? Mm. Are you scared to tell him to go away? I think he thinks he's gonna get in trouble if he tells him to go. Oh, no, it's <laughs> Does he uh does he hurt you in any way or just trying to say hi? I think he thinks he's going to get in trouble if he tells him to go. No, it's... Does he, uh... Does he hurt you in any way? Yep. Oh. Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get your attention. It's going up to 1.2. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you passed me off. <laughs> I felt... So Oh, I think I just shorted I myself. I've been getting zeros this whole time. I don't know why I'm getting this. Did you walk past us? I probably just gave you a good laugh. The boy sees you with the boots. He 
He's not telling us what type of boots you're wearing, but uh, why don't you tell me? What kind of boots are you wearing? Did you hear that? What kind of boots are you wearing? Did you hear that? What kind of boots are you wearing? Did you hear that? I heard that. Yeah. Oh, was that you? No, it was that. Was that? It was on top of that thing, probably. Okay. It, that probably t picked it up. Recorder. Okay. I'm at 1.4, and it seems to be just around you. And I'm at 3.9. I, I, I didn't is it, is it something right here? Is it something maybe above me causing it, or it's it's like if I put it up against that thing, it'll go up. But I'm I'm like I'm right here, and it's going up. You want me to try a different location, see if it does the same thing? Yeah, if you want. Zeros. We have zeros. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Over here. So we. How's that possible? Uh, you know what I mean? It is not my equipment coming. No. It was first. I mean, for it went up to three point six, and that's right here. Now I'm starting to feel a little something again, Mr. Bootman. For some reason, I can't remember your name. I know it's. We think it starts with an A. If you're the original owner, why don't you tell us what it is? Right in here. Tell me your name. What was your fav favorite room in this house? Were you in the, this basement a lot? Did you like the... Well, you gave the upstairs to Lillian, didn't you? If I'm wrong, correct me. Tell me this device I'm holding. Now, rumors have it. Tell me if I'm wrong, but... Rumors have it that Lillian... Ooh, man. I might have just saw a light anomaly through the uh, viewfinder. Let's see. It was like off to where the left is where the power pumps are into the room. Now I was saying Lillian seemed like she had a little fun. I'm not saying she was a well, I don't want to be disrespectful, but, uh... Loose. Just, what's that? Loose. <laughs> it was like a little loose. I was thinking about the... Oh, you going to say the other thing? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, if, if that's wrong, if you're here, Lillian, or the husband, let me know if, if, if the rumors are wrong. And Lillian, if you're here and you did that because maybe it was treating you bad, let me know. I'll, I'll spread the word around. I'll, I'll put the right message out there. We're here because we want some answers, and we're going to stay here until we get some. If you want to get rid of us, tell us what we need to know. We'll leave and then we won't come back. But if you leave us hanging, you leave us empty, you'll pro probably see us around again, especially if you're bugging this family. How does that make you feel? Are you mad we're here? Come on, you could do something. Let us know that you're down here. If you are talking and we're just not hearing you right now, hopefully these devices will capture it. You know, I'll, I'll know what you're you know what you're saying. I'll, I'll know later when I'm reviewing. So, if you're doing it, keep it up. Is there anything you want? Is there any type of message we can give? 
this family or anyone else that's out there. Man, I, I, I could swear I heard a whisper that sounded like maybe leave me alone or something. If that was you, I might have heard you. to leave alone you know if it comes down to it and if once we leave if you don't leave this family alone and you don't move on I'm gonna come back here with a medium or someone with that talent or a, a priest and we're gonna bless this house we're gonna cleanse this house let's communicate let's figure out something and give this family some peace okay if not, I'm going to be back. And if this used to be your house, I'm not saying it to be mean. I know you probably loved your house, but it's time to move on. I don't know if you realize you passed. And if, it, if it's, you need, need help, we'll try to help you with that, to, to move on. But you got to let us know. Your energy is not good for this house. And when you walk in this house, you, you can feel, you can feel the energy. And I, I think Chris is right. You may not know you're doing it. But maybe your pain and suffering is getting absorbed into other people. You might think I'm rude, and I don't mean to be, but I want you to know I, I mean business. Especially when it comes to families. Do we intimidate you? Three guys being down here? What was that? Is that you, Lillian? I'm not even sure what... Did it sound like something fall or something knocked something? Or? It sounded like it was almost... If it was, it came from over here, but it almost sounded like it was above us. Okay. Did you hear it right now? No. It's over there. Hold that. It's right there. Lillian, is that you? What did you just say when that happened? Did, you, did she feel intimidated? Oh, by the men? Yeah, that's right. Lillian, I'll say it again. Are you intimidated by three men being down here? Or from some of the rumors we were hearing, maybe that excites you. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That was you. Do you hear that? Not sure what I'm hearing. Sound like jars or something. I can't tell. Jars? Something kind of thick glass. Cause there's jars in here, right? What stuff? Yeah. But it's not coming. It's from here. Yeah, I thought the noise was coming. Well, I'm turning the flashlight and see. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> this freaking pipe, man! I looked right here. I was like, oh my. God. So is there anything here that could make that noise or? No. Do you know what's right above us? The kitchen? I don't know if this is the kitchen or would this be the bathroom? Or oh, I bet you like. Kitchen is over here. Above here. But didn't sound like. It sounded like that window got pushed or something or. It, did, it sounded down here. I yeah. I, if I had to make, make a guess, I'd... But, but. 
Is that footsteps? Oh, for sure. I wonder if we should relocate upstairs. You want to go upstairs? Yeah. living room area. So we have this area in front of the TV where my son has seen him. And then this area up to the wall and this door. This is an office and there has been no activity. When my son said him is here, he said he goes up and he'll go like this. That's how he describes how he goes up. So it's going up the stairs. But something's running up and down the stairs but then no door is opening. We actually heard the footsteps up and down, mm -hmm. up and down. I'd... More this noise. Like, oh, it's probably one of the dogs. No. No. Because no door opened or closed, and then it just went away. That was upstairs. Oops. It's still walking. To me, and I don't know anything, but it felt like it came from the back forward. Let's figure out what's above here. Let's go. I'll make sure it's not ah, my fault. Well, if it's the cats, Where's... they didn't do that walk. That walk was something completely on its own. Yeah, and no, I agree with that. Let's make sure it's not one of the other guys that. Uh... That was really cool. It's us coming into the room. So this is where the entrance is, because this is where it goes up, so it has to be a perfect cylinder. So where that was coming from is this room. That's right. But it also could be behind the TV. Shut up. <laughs> but it also could be behind the TV. Shut up. <laughs> Also could be behind the TV. Shut up. Him, are you here? Was that you? Is that the footstep? Did you just hear something? That, that does mean from this time. No, no. It's like a scream. Yeah. Yeah, I heard like it. Like a, ah! Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell you where it's from. <laughs> Shit. 
I feel it already. Um, I, I can't t tell if that was a kid or a female, but it sounded... Maybe it was outside. We don't know. It sounded like it came from... You can't even tell where it came from. Yeah, to be so honest, I, yeah, I would, I would be guessing. I wonder if I should open the front door. This sounds weird. Could you tell me who? Can you do that again? Could you tell me who? Was it? Who, who turned on uh, the rum meter, the rum pot? That was, uh, I got a energy surge going through me. Is that you, him? Oh man! Oh man! I need to look at this. Is that you walking through me, past me? Did you set off the rum pod? It's weird, that went off, and then a few right. seconds later, that's when I felt it. Am I standing in your way? Do that again. How close? Oh no, you're not even... This is off. There's no, no way the... That meter, and unless you're, you know, accidentally touching it, will set it off. Do that again. How close? Oh no, you're not even. This is off. Do it one more time. There's also one up in the master bedroom up. Oh, I feel it again. There's one upstairs. If you want to sound that one, make it really loud so we can hear it. Where did we put that one on the chair? Yeah. Whoever's in this room, touch that antenna again. Show us you're still here. Show us this ain't a fluke. There's nothing wrong with it. If it's Lillian, could you make it go off? If it's him, make it go off. If it's the grandfather, Cynthia's father, could you make it go off? If you want us out of here, can you make it go off? That's me on the floor, squeaking the floor. That's me sitting down. Could you tell me who is making the footsteps that we heard? And if you're still here, make a noise so we know what, what direction to look. Man, I got, I can't stop getting the chills. Is, is, is anyone something else cold? Something seems like it's, it's like around you or keeps bothering you or something. I mean, it was even down there when I was putting that thing on you, it was high around you and nowhere else. Yeah, it, it goes away for a few seconds, and but then, then it comes back. back. I'm not feeling nothing. I just want to make sure I'm not stepping where a vent or something. It's happening downstairs and now up here. Is someone next to me hanging around me?
Lillian, if you don't want to, or whoever it is, don't want to set it off that device, do you want me to set up my flashlight? The owner wanted to see uh, you use this, this flashlight to communicate. And if you don't know what a flashlight is, it's what I'm holding in my hand. And it just makes a beam of light like this. It won't hurt you. If you don't want to do this now, we hear you have the strength to... Uh, oh, thank you. Do you see that, guys? If that was you, please do it again. That was good. That's the way we're going to start communicating like that. Now we need more of this so we know it's not a fluke. That was like one little uh, tap of pressure. Could you please do that again? If you don't want to do this now, we hear you have the strength to... Oh, thank you.